Oh man, this one's going to set some hair on fire. Y'all buckle up. This is great. Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, and thank you for stopping by. All right, guys, we are going to end up your weekend real nice and set us up for a great week going forward because what I'm going to show you tonight on this episode, there was a guy in Florida, a very interesting story, where basically he was robbing and burglarizing. Well, he ran into a homeowner who was utilizing that stand your ground law, and the sheriff's response was priceless. I cannot wait to share it with you guys. Everything's going to be linked in the description box below. Let me know what you think. I'm going to do a quick read from our sponsor, and then we're going to hit it on the other side. Now, today's sponsor is Acre Gold. In today's economic environment, inflation is actively diminishing the value of our dollar and our savings. One way to fight inflation is investing in gold. Acre Gold has a program to make gold affordable in order to preserve your savings against future inflation. Check out the link below to find out more, and thank you so much to Acre Gold for letting us uh, make these videos possible. But now, guys, I'm just going to read you the headline and get ready. Buckle up. This is going to make you want to stay around for the whole story. Quote, Florida sheriff promotes gun safety course for residents to shoot home invaders. Quote, we prefer that you do. Hair on fire anywhere? Okay, let's keep going. Let me show you what this guy's actually talking about. A sheriff in Florida is encouraging residents to take gun safety courses after a homeowner fired multiple shots at an intruder on Wednesday, stopping the individual who allegedly broke into several homes. Now keep in mind, kind of some backstory to add some color to this. Mom's Man Action and a lot of the gun controllers are targeting Florida specifically for their Stand Your Ground law. I'm sure you guys have seen on this channel, some other places, but they're hitting that hard. That's like the thing they don't want, right? They're trying to say, shoot first, ask questions later. That's their whole pitch. But this is really fascinating because the sheriff comes back. I, I can't wait to share with you what the sheriff says, but here's the story. Police arrested Brandon J. Harris, 32, who was arrested after allegedly breaking into several homes in Pace, Florida, and was stopped by a, home, a homeowner who fired multiple gunshots at him, according to Pensacola Daily News, defending their own home and themselves. You can do that legally in Florida. I mean, I don't know why you can't do it anywhere else, but anyway, that's a separate conversation. Quote, Probably 20 deputies get there. The dogs are out, and he's jumping fences and breaking into houses as he goes, Johnson said. One of the homeowners, he was breaking into their house, and they shot at him. So he continues to run. We finally corner him in a house that he broke into on Tom Sawyer, and we cornered him in a bedroom. So this whole thing is a really good example of you never know what's going to happen, so you need to be able to defend yourself, whether it's in your home, on your person, in your car, wherever. But this is a big case towards stand your ground laws, and this is where the sheriff is backing this up, because in Florida, like I said, and not in all states, but in Florida, you can defend yourself if there's equal harm that you expect, right? Now, Johnson's the sheriff. Johnson also encouraged other residents to follow in the homeowner's footsteps and take gun safety classes, adding that they are, quote, more than welcome to shoot anyone who is breaking into their house. Not mincing words, are you there, sheriff? Okay, let's keep going. And again, YouTube, I'm reading from an article, so it's not my fault. Quote, I guess they think they did something wrong, which they did not. If someone's breaking into your house, you're more than welcome to shoot them in Santa Rosa County. We prefer that you do, actually. So, whoever that was, you're not in trouble. Come see us. We have a gun safety class we put on every other Saturday, Johnson said. The sheriff added that residents who take the course will shoot a gun, a, quote, a lot better and maybe save taxpayers some money. Oh, my good Lord. Oh, there's one more. Oh, gosh. Can you see, can you hear the emotion, like the screaming, the screeching? Johnson also described Harris as a frequent flyer, noting that he had been arrested 17 times before. Now, that kind of goes to the situation that we have across this country right now, where people are being arrested 15, 20, 30 times until they do something egregious, which is a typical criminal, criminal pattern of behavior, then it becomes a problem, but that's kind of going towards that whole thing. Quote, you hear me talk about frequent flyers all the time. Our first interaction with this individual came when he was 13 years old. Since then, he's had like 17 arrests, Johnson said. We sent him to prison for six and a half years for home invasion, and he just can't seem to get the picture of crime does not pay. Now, that's the whole story there. But for the sitting sheriff to say, yeah, it's in classes. We'll be much more efficient. We'll save some taxpayers some money. No, no, go ahead. Just take care of the problem yourselves. <laughs> Man, what do you guys think? Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you tomorrow morning on the bullet points where we start out a week of freedom. I will see you then.